Uh, take the left path, by looks like. You're not unsafe, so this is a good sign. These will be some dead harpies as well, won't they? So this is definitely the harpies that they, that they kill on the way, I think. So uh, things are certainly looking good. Could it be round two with left over here? Oh, is that more fog? Oh, well, well. Could be up here, though. Let's have a look. Don't fancy going through that. <laughs> Let's try going up here to start with. Ah, yes, here it is. Cave. Magic or danger? I'd say danger. It's called a hunch. What the hell's that? What the hell? Gargoyle. Whoa! They hit pretty hard. <laughs> right, what have we got here? What do gargoyles drop? Gargoyle hearts. And there's my adrenaline meter. I assume that when it fills up to maximum capacity, it unlocks some kind of special finishing move. We have tons of traps here. I'm not going to disarm them or collect them. I have like 20 of these snares. So plenty if you ask me. Just watch my step. Follow the route that the other assassins took. Ah! There we go. I'm down. Hello, gargoyle oil. Gargoyle oil. I'm blocking. some big clumpy footsteps. So expect to see a big nasty beast behind this door. A golem, oh no. Hello Mr. Golem. Don't mind me, I'm just taking a nosy around. You don't have to attack. Or maybe you do. Maybe I should sip some potions. Or maybe I should just fight. I've killed one of these before. Barely. Escaping with my life. But since killing the last one, I had a much better sword, so this should be a walk in the park. Uh oh. Don't get complacent, Geralt. something. Oh! The other assassin! Well, 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 you're looking a bit worse for wear, aren't you, buddy? Let me just... Nope, can't collect anything. Serret. Sheila knew. She wants to destroy the evidence. What evidence? We didn't want to leave you. What are you talking about? Nearly made it. Just think. The wild hunt. We could have freed the world of the omen of war. What the hell is he talking about?
September 13th, 1269, the ravine of the Hydra. Following the peace of Sintra, 53 officers of the Vryhead Brigade were brought here and executed, their throats cut. The elves' bodies were dropped into the chasm. I don't know what the riders of the hunt were looking for. November 23rd, 1269. Sintra, the village of Coldwater, and another victim of the hunt. An 11-year-old boy, his parents didn't even ask if he had a chance. I'm tired. February 24th, 1270, the high pass in the Armouche Mountains. An Imperial Manticore, one of the world's oldest and deadliest monsters. I used to feel excitement at moments like this. Now the beast is only an obstacle on my way. Its meat and hot blood will help me survive this icy hell. May 30th, 1270, the Ruga River. The hunt continues to race south. Since I've been following them, they've taken 23 individuals, all between the ages of 10 and 20. All except for Yennefer. On the hunt for the hunt. I got some notes, a new saw, a new diagram, and some boots. Right. Serret's notes. He seems different, but in reality, is so similar. Our paths have been the same. We survived the trials, endured the same training, and have slain so many monsters that we no longer keep count. So many men also. The difference is in the details. When I see him moving in combat, I want to laugh, but I also see that he is just as effective, if not more so. There is, however, one critical difference I cannot describe adequately. He has a goal. He is committed to something. He doesn't wander the world as if blown about by the wind. I believe he feels emotions at a level I can't attain. Yet these emotions are not typically human. Is it an illness of some kind? I think he teeters on the brink of instinct and emotion, and that he uses up a lot of energy to maintain his mental health. I hope I get a chance to know him better and learn from him. Nothing specific, just life. I assume he's talking about Geralt here. Interesting. Right, and we got a new sword, and it's nowhere near as good as the one I already have, so uh, we'll sell this, I think. Oh, it does have a freeze effect on it, which I've never seen before. Might keep it just for that. There is another chest over here, and this one has some balanced, superb, well-balanced daggers in there. Always handy. Okay, back to death mode then. Looks like we've uh, pilfered as much as we can. Kind of interesting. I'm just wondering what's down this side of things. Dead end. And a locked door. Oh, just got my leg there, just caught, caught my pinky toe. So, we need to go back and speak to Death Mold, give him an extra update as to what we found. Isn't there a quick way to get back? Do I have to run all the way? Like I might just have to do that. So, chapter two. Is this chapter two? I think it's chapter two. Anyway, this chapter is coming to a close. I feel, and we're getting, we're getting to the pinnacle of it. Revelations have been, un, you know, uncovered. Sheila, she's some kind of double agent. Who's she working for? What she? What's her purpose? Even Tris Merigold was mentioned as being uh, part and parcel of this whole affair, involved in the, the, the death of. King Demoven, so it's all a rather confusing time. 
You look at people and you wonder who the hell can we trust here? And these, these king, or well, this kingslayer, who, what is exactly his goal? Is he just randomly killing kings, or does he actually, has, is he actually working towards a specific beast. purpose? And what is that purpose? Is it for the greater good in his eyes? Is it for pure evil? I don't think it is, you know, I think there's going to be some kind of twist here. You know, he's doing it for some good purpose that we can't quite see yet. I'm sure it'll all become rather clear towards the end. Definitely, definitely can see a mind working here. Death Mode is back in his usual place. Shut up! Right. Death Mode! Freak. You still got me? Are you really gonna... Oh, don't start. Calm down, Leo, calm down. <laughs> Lop his damn head off. Did you get him? Sheila got to him first. He's dead. The bitch! She's probably on the other side of the mist by now. Come on, Witcher. We've got to remove that damn curse. I got the medallion from the king, the one you were looking for. Here. Good timing, I'd say. Right. Well, uh, level up again. This time, putting it into Whirlwind, I think, is the next order of the day. And uh, Whirlwind is right here. Adrenaline generated through sword blows is increased by 10%. All my resistance is increased by 10%. And chance of causing all critical effects is increased by 10%. Pretty nifty little uh, trait here. And we'll go for Whirlwind again. That's two talents of Whirlwind. Lovely jubbly. So uh, we have maxed out Whirlwind. Combat Acumen is good to uh, level one. Let me just check my uh, check my list here. Make sure everything's going on going according to plan. Combat Acumen, two whirlwinds, <clears throat> and one more combat acumen next. Lovely. So we're getting a nice bit of adrenaline, um, basically an adrenaline rush, if you will, a quicker adrenaline. Um, whatever you want to call it generation that's the word <laughs> better resistances better chance of causing critical effects yes it's all very good it's all very good indeed just in time for the uh, crux of the chapter I think right I'm going to take these orange they've been staring me in the face for look so at long that noise <sighs> the eternal battle the eternal bash right we'll just check our journal here see where things are uh, heading off in uh, heading off to the eight harpy feathers this quest line is pretty much dead in the water now I think I don't think we can return to that location the bygone era we still have these magical notes from Malget from the Malget quest line don't know if these are gonna come up as, a, as useful in some point in the future we are still probing ourselves, trying to remember what's going on here in terms of the wild hunt and Geralt's past experiences. The Assassin of Kings is the main quest line. So yeah, it's talking about the fact that we're going to soon be dispersing that mist so we can crack on with what we need to do. Score to settle is something about the, uh, the square coins and the conspiracy. Of course, Dandelion made a little pamphlet, and uh, just waiting for this to, uh, to to progress, if it ever does. Conspiracy theory, same thing again. It's kind of interlinked between the two. We have the Eternal Battle. So we're ready to lift the curse. So we need to go and speak to Deathmold about it. And Triss has sailed away. Of course, when we advance the main quest line, we'll find her, no doubt, as well. So, uh, yeah. Nothing left for us to do but to speak with Death Mold. And we are indeed ready to lift the curse. I'm ready to lift the curse. I've got all the artifacts. Then there is a chance we will soon move against Edern, and you will recover your memory. I'll need your help, sorcerer, to find the right ghosts. Ah, they will find you. The artifact's aura will lure them. 
allow them to think, speak, and act. Then you will know what to do. Geralt, there's something else out there. I scanned the battlefield and noticed the visitor's ghost. It's different from the others. It's changed. A drog. I expected as much. Ah. Good luck, Witcher. Don't worry, drog is no problem. Actually, I'm thinking of drogers. This is a drog, which is like the big daddy of them all, isn't it? This might not be as easy as I initially thought. But don't worry, I'm a monster slayer. That's what I do. That's what I do. Anyway, what's the next? What's the next? The step in the step in the uh, in the plot. Just go there. You just go to the mist and just do it. Take part in the ghostly battle within the mist. Wow. Just go. Let's just do it. Yeah, it's going to be quite a surreal experience, I imagine. Apparently the ghosts of all these various persons whose artifacts I have are going to maybe approach me and talk to me and I have to do something. And then to finish it all off I've got to kill a big drog. Should I pop some potions or should I wait and see what's going on? If I want to pop potions I better do it before I go into the mist but I uh, don't want to do it too prematurely. I'll go with the flow for now and see if we can do it without it but uh, if we need to uh, reload and, and pop some potions we can always do so once we're, once we're lying dead on the floor. Quest failed. Yes, I failed that one ages ago. <laughs> it's warm. A lovely autumn. I bet the fruit is plentiful. You know the ones picking it. You'll be picking enemy heads today. No reason to wait. Slaughter the cat when he must. Wait. The time's not right. Sometimes I forget what we're fighting for. Powerful kings have no choice but to wage wars. Then why do Demavend and Henselt's jewels to settle this? My brother-in-law is from Kedwin, a decent fellow. Once I was at a market there. Quality goods, cheaper than our merchants too. Bloody hell, shut it! Every Kedwin is a bastard. Do you know what they'll do to our women who lose this battle? Have you forgotten that they've come to pillage, burn and steal our land? Are we to give it away? Or some seed, autumn! No. Wait for the signal. There's no time to lose. Silence. Archers, light your arrows. Aim at the first ditch. So we're getting a reenactment here. <laughs> Get them. Capture the enemy standard. Capture the enemy standard. Okay. That's the first port of call. This is hard. I can't dodge. I can't do anything really. I can counter-attack though because I... Oh. I'm in a bloody fire here. <laughs> You big lug. <laughs> the standards in enemy hands. We're sitting ducks here. You need to tell the commander we were ambushed. We can't hold without reinforcements. I'm to tell him. No, Princess Syphilis. Move it, imbecile, before they slaughter us to a man. I shall make it. 
first battle, killed my first man, got blood on my hands. Inform the commander that the enemy has captured the standard. 